guys, my name is Oli Schmid, I'm 22 years old and I'm an MMA fighter from New Zealand. I was involved in martial arts from a very young age. I got into Taekwondo when I was 8 years old. I really enjoyed doing that, but um, as I got older it started to get a little bit a little bit boring. He was about to become black belt Taekwondo and I already know my dear friend Mike Williams and, and he was involved in Shuriken MMA. He graduated black belt Taekwondo and immediately the next week we jumped over to, to MMA. And that's when he started to discover boxing, kickboxing. I just completely fell in love with the whole environment, with the fights. It's been the dream ever since. That's currently 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Are you running the hills? Me? Yeah. I'm going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to work. <laughs> <laughs> around the hill up like don't you worry all right upper hey, yeah, oh, i'll see you later all right, have a good day yeah, i've been like aspiring was so sick yesterday going toe to toe with dan dan hooker was so much fun carlos got her out of carlos over that was insane so i was a bit and i was still like analyzing what just happened to me <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to get to sleep so sprints on a bruised calf. Huh? Yeah, that's that's pretty sore, but it'll be alright. My biggest strength would definitely have to be my striking and I would say my fight IQ. Um, for my age I've been lucky enough to gather around 40, around 40, 45 amateur fights. So I've gathered a lot of experience. Some people are just like, you know, just practice the striking or just good at one aspect of the sport. But yeah, as you were saying, I, I want to become the best, you know, so to do that, I feel like you have to be good in all areas of the sport. I train all disciplines, wrestling, um, jiu-jitsu, boxing, kickboxing, the whole lot. Uh, first goal right now is to make the UFC. That's, that's all I dream of, that's all I've ever dreamed of, is just to have that have those UFC mitts like wrapped around my hands and walk out into an arena in Las Vegas full of thousands of screaming people. So I guess that's the first step and then step number two is to become a UFC champion. We are training in a new gym, um, probably the best gym in the world right now. We are in for, since four years in the camp um, and unfortunately I am the one who has to pull him back because he's the pulling one. He always wants more, more, more and I am the one. No, 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 we go, we go train today, we go <laughs> have ice cream. <laughs> he will be unstoppable. People will have problems. Um, big problems. They, they, they should get ready because he will be coming. Doesn't matter how, doesn't matter when, he will be coming. Yeah, so here we are, we're at fight week. Saturday, we're going to be making our professional MMA debut. The time has finally come. It's going to be on Eternal MMA, which is so awesome. I'm so grateful. Probably the biggest organization in the Oceania region. It's also going to be live on UFC Fight Pass, so that's like insane. I'll be fighting a guy called Harry Webb, who's also making his MMA debut. I think he's 23 years old. He's 7-0 as an amateur. It's going to be a good fight. All I can say is I've never been more prepared for a fight in my life, more ready physically, mentally. All I know is as soon as that bell goes, I want to be ready to kill or be killed. So don't be surprised if it finishes quick. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for supporting. Honestly, like, I've been overwhelmed with the love and support that I've received leading up to the fight. And um, yeah, I just couldn't be more grateful. So hopefully you guys like this video and um, stay tuned for more.